extremely hard, and Kay is taking it hard. So I, I asked her, let me pick up the phone and, and talk to you. Okay. Uh, Charles was just like a brother to me. Uh, Charles was one of the kindest guys you you ever met, you ever wanted to meet, and he was the kind of guy that you wanted to be friends with. This this is a setup. It is there is a huge problem, and what we would like to do is we're here in town, and we flew in. As, I mean this morning early early so 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 we could be here to hopefully be able to talk to you laurie does not know we're here okay and we would like to sit we would like to sit down with you and and discuss this and let you see the uh, let you hear the other side to this and there is so much and uh, I, I'm I don't even know how how we how this how this could even happen but there is a lot of stuff you really need to know so I know you're off this weekend and we're not gonna bother you we're not going to bother you on on the uh, on your days off. Uh, my wife and I own our own business. We know what it is to have a day off and to appreciate it. But I was wondering if, if we could possibly get with you uh, Monday, Charles. I can if you if you guys Larry. want. Oh, I'm sorry, Larry. I'm, I'm sorry, wrong name. Excuse me very much. That's um, okay, Larry. I I can gladly uh, make time and we could sit down tomorrow. Uh, I have no issue doing that. I'm oh. supposed. I have, I have a, a barbecue, a family barbecue going on this afternoon, but uh, I have no, absolutely no problem making time to sit down with you guys and talk person to person. Um, it's very hard as an investigator to to know exactly. What, you know, I'm walking into a family with a bunch of dynamics that I don't have any understanding of. Absolutely. Um, let, let me explain to you that um, that there's a newspaper article out there, uh, and that's that's I'm sure kind of what you read was initially. What was initially reported to us, but we were in the very beginning of this investigation. So we understood that and we anticipated that. Yeah, this is not something that we're taking. I'm taking them at their face, at face value and just and just setting aside. And I, and I, I say that with uh, hopefully the confidence in, in in what you guys have already expressed to me that that stays between us because absolutely um, the, the less that Lori and her brother know um, as far as us making or, you know. Do, conducting this investigation in the background the better um, yes. so you know this is I, I have to tell you it's a it, it is going to be an uphill battle if to, to reveal the truth in this um, because we only have so much you know scientific evidence and then we have you know basically eyewitness testimony of th to three people so um, but it is not an investigation that we're just we're just closing the doors on and walking away and taking it at face value by any means okay thank God thank you Jesus. So, in fact, I, is it Lori and uh, Al? But who is the third person? Uh, Lori's stepdaughter, Tylee. Oh shit! All right. So, and I, I, is Al is is Alexander? I'm assuming, or Alex. Yeah, I, I know him as Al. I, okay. I, didn't know I, I wouldn't know him if he walked up to him. Yeah. I do know that there's been issue in the past with him, with some kind of... Charles told me a while back that this... But Charles told me uh, a few months ago that, that Al was crazy, that he really did fear him because he said he's crazy, he'll do anything. He said, I put nothing past this man. And he said, and he's got a history. And he's got some kind of history. I can't remember exactly what Charles told me, but but I swear it had something to do with him shooting Lori's boyfriend years ago. I don't know. Seems like he did time in jail, or I don't know. It was I don't know. Yeah, there's a 2007 case that we already researched, and I don't know the specifics of the case, but I know that it was that the case was completed and stuff, and you know he has the right legally to bear a firearm. Um, now, as far as the rest of that goes, so it was a it was a it wasn't any serious offense because you don't get your rights restored if you you know shoot and, and seriously injure 
somebody. Um, but I have not reached. I, what he what he did, you know, ten or twelve years ago, um, is so far in the distance for what I'm focused on right now that that it's something that will be looked in on, but but it's not something that we've even focused on right now. Right, it's not the relevant thing. Right yes, now. absolutely. Yeah. Well, look, um, we are here in town. Uh, Lori has no idea that we are in town. We've done that on purpose. Okay. Um, also, uh, well, we'll get with you tomorrow. Where, where are you guys and, staying at? Uh, where, where are we staying at? Well, I don't know. How oh, we, <laughs> well, we hadn't even, we hadn't even, look, we hadn't even got a hotel yet. Okay. We're just, we just flew in and. If you just call us in the morning, we'll uh, let you know where yeah. we are. Okay. Yeah, we got to find a hotel. Absolutely. So what I what I what I'll do is how about we plan on um, like ten or eleven o'clock? Is that okay with you guys? That's perfect. Okay. Absolutely. Gives you time well, to get over exhausted. your barbecue, your barbecue and and us to to get a night's sleep and. Uh, Okay. Uh, anyhow, we look forward to working with you to hear another side to the story, and uh, we look forward to meeting you. And obviously, if there is anything that you need in the meantime, uh, you have my phone number, and we answer our phones 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to sitting down and talking to you guys. Um, like I said, I, I just want you to rest assured that this is not something that we're just going, oh, that's what they said happened, and, and we're going to take it at face value. Okay. So, okay. And um, we assume that, but it, in trying to get a hold, well, first of all, trying to find you and and then um, you know getting a hold of you and we know you got days off so look we'll expect your call uh, by no later noon tomorrow absolutely and, and, and uh, be, we'll be very happy to meet with you at you know wherever you need yep I have every intention of, of having uh, you and I sitting down face to face by noon time tomorrow that'll be great we look forward to it all right thank, thank you guys uh-huh thank you bye bye, -bye.